Hey, this is Niladri once again, and as we uh, talked about that, uh, we will uh, start showing in uh, one video how we can update the estimated original hours and um, the assignees from Excel or CSV file. So this is what we will try to see. So as you can see, these are the couple of the stories that right now we have planned for the sprint. And now over here, uh, what we will be doing is uh, we will try to see what are the assignees and estimations that right now we have. So over here, um, Over here, uh, what we can see All right, so over here what we can see this is uh, all uh, the stories that right now we have few of the stories uh, I think I already have done these Assignations and if I just open them up uh, the original estimate for this one also I had uh, updated something as 26 minutes or something so we will go back and try to look into the other stories these are I already have created the subtask but the assignation and estimation is blank so for these particular stories I want to update the story uh, sorry update the estimated original hours and assign it to someone so what I need to do I will not be importing them and create new items I'll just update the existing one so already the subtasks are created and to do that the first thing I will be doing is I'll select all of these user stories and I'll say uh, view in issue navigator so this is the stories but over here my query needs to be changed because I want these stories as a parent parent in these numbers so these are all the subtasks for those stories that we have talked about now over here what I need to do I will just export them so that I can update it over there original estimate is as of now blank and assignees are unassigned right now all right so I will export them in a CSV file current field The file is exported now. I'll just open that file to see how exactly uh, it's came up. So over here, this is what it got exported. I have the parent and I will also, I need few of the informations to get updated in Jira back. So one thing, the assignee, then I need, I'm just highlighting it, what I will be needing. I need assignee, I need the original estimate and I need the issue key and the parent id or parent id also i don't need because this is already uh, hit it will directly update the issue key that i have rest of all the informations that i you can keep it for your reference when you are updating it for assignee ids i'll just leave it as blank i'll just have that assignee and over here i will see what other information i want to do no so now one important things that whenever you are adding the original estimate maybe you wants to do the assignees first so i need to have some of our uh, team members who already have there and remember that in this case we need to have their email id that is registered in our jira that email id will be using okay so let me get that email ids quickly so I'll be using, uh, I'll just open a notepad file and over there I'll just first pop up all those uh, email IDs of the users and this is one email ID, I'll be just adding the another email ID and that will be my another email ID and that's the different users email ID so you may need to have all those email ID handy when you are updating, you can use a VLOOKUP as well uh, if you are good in Excel, you can do that. Now, for example, what I am doing is I will be just using randomly. For example, these are the assignees email IDs. I am just uh, doing it randomly. And then maybe I can say, okay, just update it this way. This is something I am just randomly I am doing it. But once you will be doing it, should be based on what exactly you need. And then I will be just uh, updating 
over here i'll just copy paste so that it gets all the data that i need this is how the assignees will be assigned to now next thing what i need to do is i need to update um, the original estimate remember that original estimate will always has to be in seconds when you are updating so for example i'm just saying this is my estimate in hours and for example this is five hours six hours eight hours ten hours in that way i will be estimating all those hours so i'll just uh, randomly give some number when you will be working on you may give it in a right way so i'll say 11 15 18 21 let's say 9 90 will be too big 12 8 four three five and i'll just copy paste i don't want to type in that much of that much of item i'll just add it over here so this is what i have added and now i'll be multiplied by if this is in hours the seconds will be multiplied by 3600 all right so i will just copy that and this is what i have so the issue key that i will be using assignee i will be using and the original estimate so that it will update the assignee and the original estimate i'll save this csv file and go back to anjira and see how exactly this come up i'll keep this open i'll just duplicate these slides and i will try to do an import and over here what we will observe let's uh, choose this file first and we'll see what exactly the problem is coming up so i'll go into the download folder this is the file that we are working on i'll click on next and i'll select the project let's say this is our jira tutorial i'll click on next And one important thing that it shows all the files that I have in my CSV file, but when I want to map them, we don't have that original estimate is coming up over here. <clears throat> so we cannot import it from this area, but there is another way. If you are the admin, you can do it. So if you go into the system and over there, you will be able to see external system import. You click on that for this you need to have an admin rights and if you don't have admin rights maybe you can pass on this uh, excel to your admin and just say okay can you please simply update it for me for your admin it will take a couple of minutes to update that i'll choose the same file over here all right i'll click on next this is uh, we are doing under system admin an external system import the project you can define it in your csv for now we will be using this project selecting from it click on next and it's asking me to assign so the first uh, what we are seeing that assignee uh, this is the sample data we have we want to do it with assignee and then we will be having the issue key that is what we will be mapping with which field let's see uh, issue key is issue key so i will be mapping with issue key and this is also we will be updating this assignee we will be updating and then finally we will be updating um, the original estimate so where is that my original estimate yeah this is my original estimate i'll select with original estimate over here you can see it's already mentioned it has to be in second now one thing you can still see the next button is disabled because whenever you are updating or uploading the summary field you need to select so i'll select the summary field as well and uh, original estimate so these are the four fields that i want to update and let's see what will happen i'll just click on next and this is showing you a high level okay what exactly the mapping it will create this is all the data that it will be showing you i'll say okay begin import it started importing
All right, it says one project and zero issues imported successfully. That means it has not created new issues, but it just have updated your issues. So we will now refresh this filter, which was all the subtasks that you can see, which was unassigned and original estimate was blank. I'll just click on search. Now you can see all of them had got some IDs and someone, as you have mentioned in your Excel, it assigned and the hours that you have mentioned will be coming up over here. Now, if you just tally them, maybe JT346, JT346, which we have assigned as five hours, so it's came up as five hours. If I look into JT343, 343, this is what we have added as 10 hours. So 10 hours means to uh, one day two hours as we have defined in our uh, system that uh, one day equal to eight hours that's how you will be importing it and if you go back to your project now for example if i'm going back to my project to see is my features or uh, sorry not reports is my backlog all the stories that we have does it have the proper assignee? Yes, now it has. If you select any of these user story that also have this assignees created. So this is a very quick video how you can update your estimated hours and assignee from the Excel in by transferring the data using CSV import on system setting. We'll look into some other videos in the Jira tips and tricks, maybe we will talk about something how you can restrict logging hours once the story or the subtask is not in, in progress. So you, that means people can log hours only it is in progress. They cannot log hours when it is in to do or when it is in done state. We'll look into that. Please wait for our next video. See you soon. Till that time, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.